What's up guys, Mark from Gobby Glass. Today we're gonna to be looking at a new app called FEMA. Okay guys, so once you're in the application, this is what you're gonna be granted with. You've got a little sidebar just here, and then also you've got some themes here, which I'll just get to in just a second. Now, so you've got browse themes, my themes, settings, share, and also log out. Now, the ones that you really wanna be concerned about are obviously browse themes and my themes, because that's where you're gonna be actually keeping the themes, and obviously browse is where you're gonna be finding new ones to obviously apply on your device. In the settings, you've got the theme options, which is basically things like app preferences, unread email accounts, you can restore back to your old launcher, now, app preferences is a very, very good way to decide which app you want to be using within each actual theme. So you can see here some app preferences that I've got. If I just reset all these now, then I'll go into it in just a second once I get onto a theme of what you use that for. Advanced, I wouldn't necessarily touch the advanced settings tab. Only reason being is because it actually changes certain things within a theme that you're going to be actually using. So if you go into, for instance, desktop, you can see here it's got all the grid sizes, the number of screens, all the defaults, etc. So chances are that if you do change any of this, then it's going to change your on theme you're using. It's not going to look right. So I'd highly recommend not even touching the advanced tab unless you are a developer or you want to be looking at creating your own theme. System just takes you into your normal system settings on any Android device, so it's pretty simple to get into there, but you can do it live from most themes. Now if we go into browse themes, you're going to see that you've got different options, so you've got the most popular ones, the newest, or also picks from the actual developers themselves. So if we just go into most popular now, you're going to be granted here with the actual themes themselves. Now like I say, the quality of these themes is insanely high. The only way you're going to be getting high quality themes like this is if you're going to be photoshopping things, or just in general if you watch a My Color screen tutorial you'll see the way that those guys are doing it is very in-depth each, each video is maybe 20 minutes half an hour long so this is a much much easier way to do it which I'm very thankful for because I do like customized my Android device but don't necessarily have the time to go into all the customization options that there are available so you can see here some all the themes I'm just going to click on one now just to give an example of what happens when you go into it it's going to give you obviously a preview of the actual theme itself you can favorite the theme you can apply it back and obviously share now the actual theme is going to be just displayed here and you can go through to kind of see how it's going to look once it is on your device. Now what I've got, I've actually got some saved themes here. If you go into my themes and then downloaded, you'll be able to see all the themes that I've downloaded. So I'm just going to apply one of these now just to give you guys an example of how these themes look. Now this one's really nice, this one's called Vintage. So once you apply the theme, if you've used it before, all it's going to do is apply the theme. If not, it's going to obviously download it, but it does it in literally a couple of seconds. I'll show you that in just a minute. And once you're actually in the theme, that's pretty much it. You are done. The customization ends there. Now, it's really, really nice. Like I say, if you're looking at this, now you can see how good the quality of this is. So you've got my different home screens just here, news feed. You've got all my app options. You've even got a music player just down the bottom here, and then back to my home screen. Now, if I go back, all the way over here, click home, it's going to take me back to that first page. Now there are some animation issues, so I would expect it to maybe slide through all the other screens to get back home, but it kind of just jumps there. But again, that may be because it is in beta, so I'm definitely going to forgive them on that. Now what I mean with the binding of apps that I went into a minute ago is if you do click on something on the actual home screen, like the time, I know I've got different time applications on my device. It's then going to bring up a choosing which app you want to use. So I like to use Timely, which is my app of choice for clocks. So once I go back, if I then click on that again, it won't ask me again. It will just take me straight to that app. And that's what I mean by binding an application to an icon. If you go back into those app preferences and reset it, then you can choose what you want to be using on another one. And it's specific to each theme as well, which I really do like. So as you can see, this one here is very, very nice. You've got a little star down the bottom, which takes you to your app drawer, which is on every screen, which again... It's really nice to have that there. If you go onto the actual icon itself, you'll see that there's now a theme icon in the top right hand corner of your app drawer. If you click on that, it's just going to take you straight back to the themes. So it's very, very quick, very simple. I'm just going to download one from scratch so you guys can see obviously how it looks. If we just have a look at this one here. So obviously, like I say, it's going to give you a quick example. Now, depending on your internet connection, it may go a little bit fast or a little bit slow. But not fast, fast is good, but it may go a little bit slow. So this theme here looks very, very futuristic. It reminds me kind of of a, a Star Trek control console, if you will. If you then click on Apply, 
like I said, it's going to download that, and you'll see how quickly it does download it. It stays on zero for quite a long period of time, but then it shoots through. So again, not really having any trouble there. And then once you've done, it's then going to load it into your actual device, and then again, you are all set. So the, it can sometimes take a while, but again, it is in beta, so it's not going to be as quick as also when they fully release it. So you can see this one here does look really nice. You've got a temperature gauge up in the top. You've got your clock here. The orange circle just going around there is actually my battery level. So again, that's real nice. You've got your missed calls and emails and things. And again, you've got some other options on the next page as well. I don't know what Extend does. We'll have a look. Okay, so that's how you get to your actual menu and things. So you've got here, you've got the day of the week and things. You've got your favorites, music, news, store. And then obviously if you do here, it's going to take you back to your app drawer. So like I say, this is Thema. It's available now for Android. There is a bit of a waiting list because it is still in beta. But once they obviously release it to the public, it's just going to be one of those go-to apps. And you know, you know, it's really simple to do. So like I said, I would highly recommend it. Obviously, you know, do leave a comment down below if you do like this video. And obviously, if you've got any other customization options available for Android, then do let me know. I'm Michael from Copper V Glass, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.